Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally get to do a proper BoxyCharm unboxing. Although this is the December box because I did get it late this month, it was definitely worth the wait and I'll tell you why in this video next. so excited because this is my third BoxyCharm box and I've never been able to film a proper video on these. What I really want to do is that every time I get a BoxyCharm box, I want to go ahead and put it on my face, give you my first impressions, thoughts and opinions, and just to add more value to the video, um, maybe research a little bit about the ingredients in the products and kind of just tell you what I think about them. When I opened this box, it was everything that I had hoped for. The first item that I saw was this Saturday Skin Waterfall Moisturizer. You can actually get this at Sephora. That's what I like about BoxyCharm. I had the budget for a monthly subscription, but I had to choose wisely. The top two choices were Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but I decided to go with BoxyCharm because I feel like the items in BoxyCharm are items that are more well-known um, products that you can either find at Sephora, Ulta, or even Nordstrom. It's not like an indie brand maybe. It's not products that maybe you have to purchase online. Some of these aren't available at every single retail store that we are familiar with, but for the most part, you know, like bigger ticket items like these are, you know, actually accessible to everyone. So just a little bit about BoxyCharm. I pay $25 per month. It's a monthly subscription box and you get up to $100 or more worth of items in the box. A lot of them are mostly makeup related. I have the FabFitFun subscription box and those are more lifestyle, health, beauty, and fitness. But I also wanted to zone in on makeup because I love to review makeup and that's what my channel is all about. That's why I purchased BoxyCharm and it has a lot of the up-and-coming brands. As a subscriber to BoxyCharm, you get to choose one out of the five items in the box and the choices at the time was between Elemis and this Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier. Well, I ended up getting this purely for the packaging. Well, not really. <laughs> I have heard of Elemis, but I've never heard of Saturday Skin before. And I would have chosen Elemis if it weren't for the type of product. I think the choice was a type of oil. And since I have oily skin, I decided to pass on that. And I went with the Saturday Skin Lightweight Moisturizer. The reason why I picked this is because I saw my most favorite skincare ingredient, which is collagen. And um, so it has these plumping ingredients, anti-aging ingredients. It's a lightweight moisturizer you can use under makeup. It's not a very expensive product. I believe it's in the $30 range. I'll make sure to put the price here somewhere so that you guys can see. Never tried it before, guys. I hope you guys can see. Um, it's like a gel moisturizer. It's very light. It feels so cooling on the skin definitely a lightweight moisturizer it doesn't have any scent to it which i like this is clean at sephora by the way which is nice i want to move towards more cleaner ingredients especially on skincare it's a little sticky but i don't mind it let me put a little bit more i think this would be great under makeup since it's not too thick the second dose really did it. It nourished my skin and made it feel really hydrated. It is so cute. I feel like I want to display it here on my background shelf here. The Saturday Skin is $39 according to BoxyCharm and this is a full size. That's the other thing I like about BoxyCharm. For $25, all of the items that you get are full size. You really get your money's worth and, and that's what I'm all about, especially when I'm spending makeup. I need to really choose wisely and make sure that I get the most bang for my buck so I don't waste my money since I have to review a lot of makeup on my channel. First impressions, I love how it feels on the skin. Definitely a lightweight moisturizer if you have dry skin might not be the best 
for you but if you want to apply makeup on top of it then i think this would be great well, the next item that i got is a pro series brush cleanser and conditioner i tried this last night i tried washing my beauty blender and also my brush and it didn't do a good job i had to use a lot of products before it cleaned my beauty blender when i thought it was already clean i decided to use my elf soap cleanser and it removed more makeup products from the sponge and so i feel like this is not doing a great job as far as deep cleansing deep cleaning i would pass on this product it's about 12 dollars, so it's not that expensive i would definitely go with my elf sponge cleanser over this Can i show you guys how everything looked like of course everything was in this packaging so this is the box and it's packaged well you get all of the items in here and then you also get this boxy charm card which tells you a little bit about the products and also the theme the overall theme this month was whimsy it also tells you the price i'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on my bronzer i'll see you back in a little hi guys so i'm back i've got my foundation on i have my concealer and bronzer so the next product that i got is this true glam brow bar brow makeover kit and i really don't have a brow kit um, because I have so much brows and as a mom, I really don't have time to do my brows and I know that's a must for most people and so a lot of times I just use brow gel but I'm glad that I got this it seems like this could be a good color for me at least a dark one so we'll see um, I'm not quite sure how to use this one it's a very creamy formula but um, I think it just helps with defining the brows more. So let's just go ahead and try it. It looks really pigmented. But I love these brow products for filling in my brows. So this one is missing the spoolie. You would expect there would be a spoolie in here, but it doesn't have one. So I'm just using my own spoolie. I don't like the brush that it comes with. So I'm just going to use my own which is the brush from Milani. I love this. This Milani one is a little bit more stiff, which I like when it comes to drawing and carving out the brows. I like the color. It could be a tad warm for me, but I can make it work. Okay, what I do want to try on is this creamy thing because I've never used any kind of creamy product. But if I really wanted to define my brows, I could use a concealer. If you kind of highlights the brows and then you just want to blend it in. And this. And then blend it out. I've never really done this process. It's just too time consuming for me. Uh, you know, if you have a special occasion to go to, this would be great. And then last one is this brow gel. It also comes with a brow gel, so that's nice. I think this is great if you're traveling and you have a special occasion to go to. This is a nice compact all-in-one, but it's missing the spoolie. Let's try the brow gel. Ooh nice it looks really brown what do you guys think i don't know it's a little too warm for me i probably wouldn't use this brow gel but the colors in here overall are not bad at all for a medium skin tone gal next one i was so excited about i got this marbled light blush by ciate london and it is in the color dusk so it's in the color dusk. Look how pretty this packaging is. Oh, you're seeing my camera. I love this packaging, guys. Ciate is a great brand and I love the color too. I think I can definitely use this color. By the way, the brow bar, uh, brow kit is $30. It's not too, too pigmented to where you apply it on and you just look like a clown right away. I love the texture of it. Great product. And according to BoxyCharm, this Ciate 
um, blusher is $26. When I saw this, I was so excited that I got it in my box and I was hoping that I would get the green one. This is from the brand Storybook Cosmetics. So they make these awesome packaging on their makeup. There's a mirror right there. And it has some interesting names. Maid Marian, Quiver, Nottingham, Forest, Merry Men, Robin Hood. And they're very, very creamy, very pigmented. Um, so let's see how it performs on the eyes today. I've never tried it on myself. I'm glad I got this because the other one was like a um, more of the raspberry reds and oranges color. And although that's really my kind of color, I have so many of those colors. And so I love that I got this green. And I think this is going to be perfect to be on display once I'm done with it. I I've seen a lot of Instagram um, photos that have used this or this and I kind of want to go matte today. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I will do a dark eye today and maybe have a wing liner in this gold color. We'll start with Nottingham, the lightest color right here. Oh, it's blending so nicely guys. It's a subtle crease shade, but it still works. And then I'm going to use a smaller brush and go in this color right here called Quiver. It's warming up the gray shade, but it's just not the yellow that I was expecting. I'll put a little bit of Quiver again on my lower lash line. And just kind of connect the bottom to the top. Here we go, wish me luck. I don't do dark colors normally, but I don't know, the color forest right here isn't really black black. It's like dark brown gray. I'm tapping and I'm just gonna start really low. Huh? I have an excuse. I'm not a makeup artist <laughs> and I'm just here to review makeup. This forest shade is a little bit patchy, but it's not too bad. This is all out guys. We're going to do green. We're allowed to play with makeup, right? Okay, green under the eyes. And here we go with a wing liner in gold, which is the Maid Marian. It is so creamy. It's almost like it's wet. I hope it shows on this dark, dark eye right here. So we'll see. Yes, it does. Let me wet it a little bit more with my Max Fix Plus. It's creamy, but it's falling apart. Also, I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24-7 in the color Overdrive, this pencil right here. It's a green just on my lower lash line. Just to make that green under my eyes pop a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye and come okay, back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I put on some lashes, I finished the other eye, and yeah, I just had fun with this palette. I mean, I saw a lot of people on Instagram that use, you know, the gold or the green eyeshadow, and so normally that's what I would gravitate towards, like sparkle in the middle of the eyes and some shadow on the crease, but today we did it totally different. 
um, really out of my comfort zone, but I don't know, I kind of like it. So some thoughts about the palette. I love the Made Marian. It's such a creamy eyeshadow, but definitely it's not meant to be used as an eyeliner because it crumbles a lot. I had to work with it a little bit. This would be great on the center of the eyes as an eyeshadow. Both shimmers, the gold and the green one, are so, so creamy. I can't wait to use the green one. Um, I would say Forest, the brown one, is a little patchy. I had to layer this a couple of times in order for it to show nicely on the eyes. Um, Nottingham, this gray one. I would say that this is a great crease shade, but not for warm tone skin like myself. And then Caliber, no, Quiver. I thought this would be a great crease shade for me, but it doesn't seem to show. I think it's coming off as more of a, you know, like the same color as my skin tone, so that's why you can't see it. So I kind of wanted a more yellowish crease to complement the um, the gold wing liner, but that's okay, that's okay. And then um, Merry Men is under my eyes. So great product overall. I believe Fairy Tale Cosmetics has an even bigger like version of this, but I like this small, cute version. I'm definitely gonna put this on display right here, right now. And, and so it's definitely gonna be part of my permanent background collection great products overall i love everything that i got in my boxy charm my least favorite is definitely the brush cleanser it's not the best elf is a better cleanser guys and it's four dollars so that is it i hope you guys like this look i hope you enjoyed this unboxing it was so much fun for me to do let's go ahead and tally this so the total value of this boxy charm box is a hundred and forty two dollars worth of makeup so not bad and i only paid twenty five dollars and all of the products are definitely something that's going to be put to use that's going to be in my permanent makeup collection and i love i love everything that i got and if you're thinking about a makeup subscription box i would go with boxycharm if you're on the fence between ipsy or boxycharm i think boxycharm is the way to go so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here i post videos once a week and there's always something to learn from my channel so check it out and as always i'll see you back in my corner soon bye